सो हेलो गाइज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वट वट मैक्म क्वेश्चन विल आस्क यू इन द इंटरव्यू राइट सो रिसेंटली आई हैव गिवन सो मेनी इंटरव्यूज लाइक इन्फोसिस टी सी एस एल एंड टी पी डब्ल्यू सी एंड ऑल दिस कंपनी विच यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द चेंज एंड mostly the interview questions are the same and it's based on the your resume and the project which you have did but definitely uh, anyways some um, area and certain uh, things we need to keep in mind for the interview so i'll tell you some uh, recently asked questions only uh, answers you can find out uh, by yourself otherwise you can type in the comment and uh, you can tell me or uh, we'll see what are the what will be the possible answers for these questions so i'll let start so uh, you know first question definitely will be introduce yourself so once you introduce yourself then you need to tell them uh, the project the area which you have work and uh, definitely the project which you have work so based on the projects and area which you have told them uh, they will ask you so i have a tell about my areas and the project so my first question was uh, he asked me about the where application data will store or which table gets update in the database when we will create new application in the database in the application designer so he was asking me about in which uh, in the database uh, definitely when we are creating any application uh, it will create uh, something in the database so suppose i am creating a new application in the maximo so where and uh, in which table that data will be stored so that was the my fair first question you can uh, tell me the possible answer for these and the tables which will get updated okay and the second question was how to make a field required slash read only for the particular user group user or user group and uh, he he told me to explain it step by step means what i uh, what i need to do uh, first then what i need to do next likewise so anyways uh, i also know the answer of this and uh, you might also know but definitely tell me this the answer of this okay and uh, next question is what is the need of workflow in the maximo why we are using the workflow and how to implement that in our maximo right so you need to tell them what is the workflow what are the nodes there and that different things okay so based on the workflow uh, he asked me next question uh, next question like um, what are the nodes of workflow and uh, he will give one scenario so you need to explain that all these things he will ask in the in your workflow okay so my possible question were there what are the workflow nodes and uh, uh, some practical questions okay so practical based question he will ask about the workflow so that is the one part so next he uh, come across the automation script you know automation script is a very uh, crucial part in the maximo so definitely anyways if you have work or not uh, you have did not work on the automation script but definitely interviewer will ask you about the automation script so uh, he asked me about the what is the automation script and what are the types of automation script so definitely you know what is the Uh, automation script and types of the automation script you know so the based on the automation script he asked me the next question like what is the action launch point and why we are using that so you need to explain here what is the action launch point how we are using that and what are the possible ways to use it all these things okay so next question was uh, he was asking me about object launch point so he asked me what is the object launch point and tell me its event you know for the attribute and <clears throat> object launch point we have certain events there right so we need to tell them what are the events and uh, what is the object launch point after that uh, he uh, go uh, deep in the automation uh, in the object uh, launch point so he asked me the next question what is before save and after save you know uh, in the event uh, of the object launch point we have before save and after save so we need to tell that one so likewise he asked me uh, some more question about the automation script so my next question was why we use initialize event in the script you know uh, we have initialize event both in the attribute launch point and also in object launch point 
so he asked me about that after that my next question on the automation script was what are the methods in the automation script you know we have a certain methods in the automation script so that we need to tell there and uh, next question was regarding the automation script is when we use mbo and mbo set you know we have two things in the automation script mbo and mbo set so he asked me about that so we need to tell them right so guys if you see uh, so interviewer asked me a uh, five to six question about the automation script so you should be the very uh, what we can say you you should know the automation script very well because if you know two or three launch point also your suppose attribute launch point object launch point action launch point that will be very useful for you right and uh, as well as event you should know okay so we'll move to the next part so he asked me about uh, some practical question also in the automation script that is how to get the mbo how to fetch the mbo and how to how to set the data how to get the data in the automation script so anyways if you have created any automation script you can uh, give that answer and uh, next question was uh, yeah so he moved uh, next part so that part was uh, he asked me about what are the structural and non-structural changes in the maximum so anyways you should know what are the structural and non-structural changes and based on that uh, he will move to the next right so next question he asked me when we add attribute in object and what are the table will update in the maximum db right so when we are creating new attribute in the object so definitely some objects uh, sorry some attributes and object get updated in the database so that uh, name we should uh, tell him right so next question is uh, yeah so he give me some scenario suppose for example when you are doing config db right so he give me uh, one practical question so i am telling you same to you so uh, that is suppose for example when you are doing config db and due to some reason all users get logout right and uh, you also get logout suppose we are working on something and uh, i was working in the config db and uh, because of some reason i'm get uh, i'm i'm log out from the system so how we can deal with this problem so uh, we need to tell him what we can best possibly do for this problem and uh, we need to answer accordingly definitely you can tell me in the comment uh, uh, how we can deal with this situation okay so we'll uh, go forward uh, so next is he asked me about the integration right so my uh, main project was the integration so he moved to that part and he asked me what is the synchronous and asynchronous so definitely uh, when we are doing integration so we should know what is the synchronous and asynchronous so next question also on the integration that is what is inbound and un outbound right and uh, third question was also on integration that is a uh, what is rest api and what is the web service and he also asked what is the difference between in uh, rest api and web service so we should tell them about the rest api and web service and how we are creating the web services also right so a uh, next question he asked me about uh, some processing rules also and uh, how we can use that processing rule and what are the types of processing rules so you know at the time of the publish and uh, integration in the pub publish channel and enterprise service we are using processing rule so that we need to give and uh, next question he asked me about how to encrypt data when we are sending it from maximum to external system right so actually i could not give uh, the answer of this how we can encrypt data suppose we are sending password field and uh, suppose some particular field which we don't want to show someone so that uh, means how we can encrypt that field and how we can send it to the external system so that question also i am looking for if you know then you can definitely comment on that yeah uh, so we uh, will move forward so he asked me one practical question that is on rest api he asked me uh, for example um, we are getting data from the rest api and how we can check the response means for example suppose rest api how we can send the response first thing right and like for example we have publish channel and enterprise service uh, we have message tracking for publish channel and enterprise service right likewise what we have for the rest api 
suppose when we are sending uh, when we are getting the data in the maximo so how uh, maximo will tell us so this this data it's came into the maximo and uh, how we can check that one so that is also one question which i could not give the answer to him but after that i uh, search about it so i read somewhere we can uh, get the response and send the response based on the automation script which is written on integration but definitely i need to also check that so if you know so definitely please comment on that and the next question is what is the difference between cron task and escalation this is the very uh, what we can say a simple question uh, so you can definitely answer that and uh, after that he moved to the next part of the maximo area that is on birth report so i don't have too much knowledge on the birth report so i told him i am uh, i have did only training on the birth report and i have did some a small reports in the birth report so he did not ask me on birth report but definitely if you have worked on the birth report he will ask about you the birth report so that you need to give answer and uh, some related question he will ask you and uh, then he moved to the next part that is uh, he asked me wh what which tickets and bugs you have worked right so anyways if we are in support project and uh, if we have some uh, bugs and ticket so he asked me about and after that he asked me about how you solve that I means suppose i am getting one bug in uh, suppose any any bug i am getting so how i deal with that and how i solve that he asked me about that and after that uh, these are the question he asked me in the uh, interview so definitely i think it will helpful for you in any interview and if you have any questions and anything definitely you can comment and ask me and uh, i'm thinking about that i will uh, create next video for the managerial round this is for the technical round actually so i'll uh, create next video on the manager round so please uh, be with me and uh, subscribe my channel so you can get a uh, next update and thank you very much